In the past three years that I've had my YouTube channel, I have tested a lot of different keyboards. And in this video, I wanna share my top three most favorite keyboards that I've enjoyed. Full disclaimer, I am an average user. I am not a keyboard expert. So when I look at different keyboards and when I test them, I look at three things, how they look, how they feel, and how they sound. I don't get into any remapping or macro designs and things like that. As a matter of fact, two of these three keyboards offer full customization, but I personally, I don't know enough to dare to want to give you my opinion about those, so I'm not gonna dabble in that area. These keyboards are very different, but they do have a couple of things in common. For example, they are all mechanical keyboard that are hot swappable, which means you can not only change the keycaps, but also change the actual switches. So if you wanna go from clicky switches to linear switches to tactile, you can do that. All three offer per key RGB lighting. Uh, all three use PBT style keycaps, which are known to be more durable and don't develop the shine that the ABS material can develop over time when you type a lot on the keyboard. And that is where the similarity between all these three keyboards will end. Here's the entire lineup of my most favorite keyboards that I've tested in the past three years starting with the Nufi R75, and then we have the NJ80 Keychron K8 Pro. Out of the three, this is the only slim mechanical keyboard that I have in the, the setup, and that's why specifically it's there because it's my most favorite slim mechanical keyboard. So we're gonna start with the specs for this Nufi R75. It is a 75% keyboard with 84 keys, $110 at the moment I'm doing this video, has a battery capacity of 2,500 milliamp. It uses PBT style keycaps. The switches are Gateron low profile switches, which they are hot swappable and you can switch them for any other Gateron uh, low profile switches. So going from clicky to tactile uh, to linear, you can definitely do so. You have three different connection methods. You can use this as a wired connection using the provided USB Type-C. You can use the Bluetooth 5.0, which I believe you can connect with up to four devices at once. And you can use the more reliable 2.4 gigahertz connection and it comes with its own transmitter. This keyboard weighs about 1.26 pounds. Next, we're gonna talk about the NJ80. This is also a 75% keyboard. It has total of 80 keys plus this uh, audio dial. It costs about 155 bucks, battery capacity of 4,800 milliamp, also has PBT style uh, keycaps. The model I have, it has Kelbox brown switches, but when you wanna order them right now, you are able to get them with Gateron Pro switches. They are hot swappable, and you can switch them with any other three and five pin MX style switches. The stabilizers in this keyboard are pre-looped, you have multiple uh, methods of connection. Number one, wired connection using provided a USB type C. It uses Bluetooth 5.0, which I believe you can connect with up to three devices at once and 2.4 gigahertz. And the transmitter is handy dandy. It's stored down here. This keyboard had total of two layers of sound absorbing foams. And as a result, it sounds really good. Uh, it is programmable and it weighs about 2.27 pounds. And the final keyboard, Keychron KH Pro. This is a 10 keyless keyboard. So imagine a full-size keyboard minus the entire numpad. It has a total of 87 keys. Currently, you can pre-order it for 100 bucks at the time I'm recording this video. It has a battery capacity of 4,000 milliamp. Also uses PBT material for its keycaps. It uses Gateron G Pro switches, which are pre-looped switches. If you want to hot swap them, you can use any three and five pin switches. The stabilizers, similar to the NJ80, are also pre-looped. And you have multiple uh, methods of connection. You can use it uh, wired or use Bluetooth 5.1 and connect with up to three devices at once. This does not offer um, any transmitter for you to take advantage of a Wi-Fi connection at 2.4 gigahertz. The Keychron K8 Pro also has two layers of sound absorbing foam, which would make this keyboard also sound really good. This is the heaviest of all. It weighs 2.86 pounds.
So while there's a lot I like about all three keyboards, but there are things I do not like. So let's start with the Nufi Air 75. Number one, I love the price at $110. This is one of the most chic and good looking and unique looking low profile mechanical keyboard you can get. Look how thin that is. Now, what are some of the things I don't like about this, which there definitely are a few things. Number one, while these legs are really cool that are magnetic and they're detachable, the fact that they're detachable and you don't have any place to store them, I don't like it because when I don't use them, I could lose them. Uh, the second thing is the same thing goes for the transmitter for uh, the Wi-Fi uh, connection for the, uh, the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. There's no place to actually store this in the keyboard and you can lose it, which actually is what happened to me. I've lost it and I cannot find it unfortunately the lighting the rgb lighting which could be a plus or it could be a minus for some others the the type of keycaps they have on these which they call them coast keycaps it leaves very little room for the rgb lights to shine through so if you want some subtle rgb lighting this is great if you want some crazy bright rgb lighting this is not for you i do like these side uh, light bars, which they're actually trying to communicate different things, such as low battery, it's in pairing mode, if, they tap, if the caps lock is on, and things like that. So, all in all, this is the best low-profile mechanical keyboard that is hot-swappable with RGB per-key lighting that I have personally experienced. So, next, the NJ80. So, this is probably one of the best-built mechanical keyboard i have tested it feels good it definitely has the weight to it to trying to prove that this is a premium keyboard i love the fact it has two layers of sound absorbing foam uh to try to give this this buttery sound when you type it sounds and feels really good pre-looped stabilizers that i really like the fact that it's programmable i really like this volume knob uh, if you do a lot of like Teams calls, Zooms calls, whatever, it actually comes pretty handy if you listen to a lot of music. But anyways, there is a lot I like about this. The transmitter for the Wi-Fi connection, it actually gets stored right down here and it's programmable. But the only thing I don't like is the price. It is the most expensive out of all three of them, but by all means, 155 bucks, it is not expensive if you get into the world of keyboard. The RGB lighting, I would easily say it's above average. I actually want to show you something. The lighting, these are what is called south facing RGB switches. So the light is at the bottom. So as you're typing, it easily shines through and you as the typer you, or user, you can see more of it. And finally, this Keychron K8 Pro. Uh, there is a lot I like about this, starting with the price. At a hundred bucks, this is still, regardless of the price, one of the best uh, feeling and sounding keyboard I have experienced. I love the dark theme that they have. The switches, the Gateron G Pro switches are pre-looped. The stabilizer are screwed in into the PCB board, uh, so that way they won't wiggle after a while. And look how good this sounds. RGB lighting, while we're talking about the look. Not only this also has south facing RGB switches, but also you have this bit of a gap between your switches and uh, this board right here or the keycaps on the board. So it's a lot easier for the light to shine through. The only thing I could think about I don't like about this is the fact that it does not offer Wi-Fi connection and it's only wired and Bluetooth, but it's Bluetooth 5.1. So as you can see, each of them, they definitely have their own pros and cons. And it's really difficult to try to say which one will win it all. If you're looking for a slim mechanical keyboard, there are not a whole lot out there. And out of the ones that are out there, and I've tested a few, this Nufi Air 75 is probably my favorite and I have not had anything that looks nicer and it feels nicer than this. But if you're looking for full-size keyboard, obviously you get a little bit more keys. This is a standard uh, full-size keyboard minus the numpad with the Keychron K8 uh, that gets you closer to a more traditional look and feel. But 
These two, they both sound really good. They both feel really good. There are some subtle changes between the two. Both are programmable. One thing I don't like about this Keychron K8 Pro is the, it is the thickest out of all of them. And you definitely need some wrist rest to have that comfortable typing feeling. Whereas in the NJ80, you do not need that. And it feels very comfortable as it is. So hopefully I'm not confusing you guys, but I do have links down below. If I do have any coupon, if I can find anything, I will put it down below. So definitely check them out. And by the way, I hope I remember to say that all these keyboards work with both Mac and Windows. One final sound check. So what do you guys think? Hopefully I didn't confuse you. I know I feel like I'm going round and round and round because it's so difficult to really pinpoint and I wanna make sure I convey all my feelings and knowledge about these three keyboards as an average user to you. So hopefully this helped. I'm so sorry if I confuse you. If you got any questions, just drop a comment and ask below. I will do my best to try to answer all your questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching, you're a trooper. I do this because of you and for you. Have a good day.